Happening tonight, there is a memorial to honor these two students who were killed in a crash right outside of their high school in Cleveland County. Channel 9's Ken Lemon is live for us at Burns High School now. And Ken, I understand the vigil will begin in about 30 minutes. Yeah, and these teens are related. Their family members tell me yesterday was a very difficult day for them. But days like this one actually lift them up. I want you to take a look right across the street, Burns High School. You can see some people already lining up with balloons. They plan on releasing those balloons along with the individuals here into the sky with messages to them. The family says that they could not have survived this much hurt without community support like this. Bernadette Ross spoke to me wearing a charm with the pictures of her son, Dequarius Hopper, and grandson, Jalen Abraham. They were killed in a crash headed home from Burns High School last week. Their car collided with the truck in front of the school. This helps me because I, I, can't, I can't let go. She said a tremendous outpouring of love and support has helped students and parents at West Lincoln High School. Will you please bow your heads in a moment's silence? Prayed for her sons while wearing Burns School colors. Hundreds of Burns students attended an unplanned birthday party for Dequarius. He would have turned 18 today, but they celebrated early. Even in a moment where we can't talk or we can't find a word to say, y'all have been there, y'all have supported us. His sister Brittany saw the hundreds of balloons ready to soar, and she read some of the notes that students wrote to attach to them and release into the sky. One she won't forget about the tragic drive. We're going home. And you made it home. Home, she said, in heaven. Another gift on this day, relative Xavier Sanders, the 16-year-old, in the car with them, gets released from the hospital. Zay was in the front seat. It was hit on Zay's side. And my baby came out of the end. And you can see now hundreds more balloons coming up. Some of the hundreds of balloons coming over that are going to be fixed in place. About 20 minutes they'll release those into the air. Family members did tell me Xavier Sanders, he did suffer a head injury, so he does not remember the crash that happened just up the street here. Uh, they do tell us that he's under doctor's orders to rest, so he won't be here for this balloon release, but he will be able to attend the memorial service for his relatives this weekend. Live in Lawndale, I'm Ken Lemon, Channel 9. I wouldn't news. Such a loving community holding them up during this time. Ken, thank you.